guys my name is crystal welcome back to my channel in this video oh, we are going to learn how to write our own dollar general scenarios um so you guys obviously are here on my youtube channel so you have seen my dollar general scenarios and i think it's important not only to give you guys deals um, but give you the knowledge to be able to do things on your own. So I thought we would do a really quick um, kind of learning little thing. Um, how I learned to write my own scenarios. This is very, very simple. And you're probably not going to believe how simple this is if you do it yourself. Um, so I have the Dollar General ad here. I prefer to look at a paper ad as opposed to looking at this on the computer just because it's easier for me. Sometimes I'll write notes on my ad or circle things that I want to remember to go back to later. Um, the only bad thing is sometimes I end up losing them, uh, which is easy to do. Someone just usually assumes it's trash and throws it away, I think, like my husband, but at least he cleans right. I can't complain. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull up, I borrowed my husband's phone, which is broke, but we're going to um, use it to look at our Dollar General account because obviously I'm live on my computer or on my phone, so I need some way to look at the Dollar General digital coupons. So what you're going to need um, is a notebook and a pen or pencil the Dollar General ad and you can look at this on your phone I just prefer to have the paper ad and I suggest uh, when you start out you use a paper ad too just because I think it's easier and then something where you can pull up your Dollar General uh, coupons another device or maybe you can even go back and check your coupons um, from your phone well you're not going to be live on YouTube so you can just check your Dollar General uh, things you're on a roll with these videos Krista Bye. Look, I try, I'm trying to pump them out. Um, it's really helping out my channel. You guys, look, I know that everybody can't watch long videos, but you guys really like these um, live videos where you guys can just ask questions. I'm learning. My analytics really say that you guys prefer the live streams uh, over the recorded videos. Other than the scenario videos, those videos do quite well for me. I think I'm just not good at haul videos. Honestly, I get so excited whenever I have a good haul, and I'm just not as good at, um, I guess, breaking down the deals in the haul videos as others are. I guess it would help if I wrote it down on a card or something. Anyway, I'm just chatting while I'm pulling this up on my phone. If my mom will stop texting me, I'm going to tell her. Hey guys, love those lives. Oh, I'm glad you do. You're from Alabama. Love your live streams. Thank you. You guys are so grateful and it just makes me like want to help you guys even more. I appreciate your nice comments. I really, really do. Um, Because sometimes, I'll be honest, I get a little burnt out and... Then I'll go answer comments on my YouTube channel, and I'm like, oh my gosh, how could I even be burnt out? Yes, tell me where you're from in the comments. Everybody, it, there's 42 people right now on this live stream, which is kind of low. We usually have at least 50, at the very least. Everybody tell me where you're from. Shoot, go, 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 go. West Virginia, Wisconsin, Tennessee, Indiana, Austin, Texas. Mesquite, Texas, Kansas, St. Louis, New Mexico, Florida, Texas, Michigan, Michigan, Texas. Uh, thank you, Becky from Kentucky. We're kind of close. Mississippi, West Palm Beach, Florida. Oh, I'm jealous of your weather. Charlotte, North Carolina, Oklahoma. Hi from Alaska, who just subscribed today. Thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you are enjoying these videos, what, this is the third live stream today? That's a good thing, though, I guess, you know? All right, so this is up on my husband's phone. Hey, guys, I noticed that we have this buy two. Can you guys see that? Buy two, get one free Doritos. 
a digital coupon today. Oh, let me tell you what happened to me at Dollar General today before we get into this. Uh, so I went to my Dollar General. So I don't know if you guys have heard me say this, but we had a new manager at my Dollar General. She would hide things for me. Like when we had the overage on the trial size toothpaste, she would put it up um, behind the counter. And I, when I would come in, she would be like, hey, you want some of these toothpaste? And I just, she was new, but I was really nice to her and gave her some of my paper coupons. So she was nice to me after that, which I was so grateful. But anyway, I went in that Dollar General and there's a different manager um, tonight and he had a very large line. I needed, I wanted the Jello uh, cheesecake, no bake cheesecake, obviously. I was going to do that scenario I gave you guys. And it was on the top shelf. And usually I just get things down that are on the top shelf myself. But I was having a hard time getting it down because it was on the top shelf like really far back. Like six of them. So I was looking around for a Dollar General employee to help me and I couldn't find one. And I guess the guy at the cashier was the only guy there and he's the new manager. He'd only been there for two days. His line was backed up. There was like 10 people in line. So I finally found this thing that I could knock those cheesecake down and get them myself so he didn't have to come get it for me. And um, anyway... So I waited in line forever, forever, and got up to the line. He used my 3 off 15, which right now I only have one that's not expired. Put my digital coupons in. Everything come out perfect, and it goes time to use my debit card, and the machine froze. So anyway, after waiting for 30 long minutes with my four-year-old in a line of like 20 people, I eventually just had to pay cash. I only had enough cash for the cheesecake, so I didn't end up getting the other things. So I didn't feel the need to do a haul video because you guys know the deal on No Bake Cheesecake. And if you don't, you should watch um, that video because that's a really good deal. It's in the ad. All right, let's get started on this because y'all know how I am. I could sit here and talk to you for three hours. All right, so we're having a three-day sale, blah, blah, blah. We don't really need that. So the first thing that you want to do in your little scenario here is you're going to write down the items. I always like to just write, I guess because I do this for you guys now. So I have such a habit of writing items, price, coupons, and total. And making me some little columns. I really like the Google Spreadsheets. My notebook's got like lint on it because it was in my little thing over there. Anyway, so I just write that down. And the first thing that I want to put in my scenario is any free items that we have right now. Now, I usually, what I do, guys, if you guys don't know what I do, um, I do a lot of research for you guys, actually. I mean, and for myself, too, of course. But what I usually do is go to all of the Facebook groups of Dollar General Couponing. And I literally will, especially on like Monday or Tuesday or anytime we get new coupons, scroll through all the comments and I will just stop everyone and read all the comments and look for free items or items giving overage something uh, that is a glitch right because I can figure out the, the deals on my own um, but I don't want to go out here honestly and waste all my money to see if the big coupon is glitching or see if the um, you know something else is glitching that would just cost me way too much money and time. So I scroll and stalk the Facebook groups and for hours usually. A lot of the time hours. And um, when I find something that's free, a new free item or overage item, of course, if possible, I go to Dollar General and I test it out. And then I um, just do the rest with the Dollar General ad. But you always want to, when you're writing a scenario is always include your free items or your really, really inexpensive items first. A good example is when we had, um, I don't like Arm & Hammer laundry detergent, but if it's cheap or free, I'll buy it. But uh, a few weeks ago, we had it uh, for $3.95, and then there was a $3 digital coupon making it just $0.95. Cents. Now, even though I don't like particularly the Arm & Hammer laundry detergent, our goal here is to build our total up as high as possible. 
uh, with as high value coupons as possible and pay the least out of pocket, right? So if you're already at $4 and you're only paying 95 cents, basically rounding those off, that's a pretty good ratio. Does that make sense? So that's always the first type kind of items that I consider is the ones that are higher out of pocket with a higher value coupon. So I can get my total as high as possible um, with as high value coupons as possible. Well, first we'll do our free item, which right now the only thing I know of, um, unless we have some type of glitch with the new coupons, do you guys know of anything that's free other than the Colgate toothpaste? Becky says she loves talking too. Well, that's good, Becky. You're in the right place, girl. Hi. I don't have the chip in my debit card. I don't know why. Um, usually that store doesn't freeze up the register. Back to talking about the Dollar General from the live video comments if you're watching this video later. But um, I have one Dollar General that the register always freezes, like all the time. But this one usually doesn't, so I don't know. The guy was, it was only his second day, I think he said, or something like that. He was very new, and he had no idea what he was doing. Actually, a couponer uh, who was behind me, apparently, she used to work at Dollar General, and she come up and reset the system and helped him get it booted back up enough to where I could use my cash, um, which is kind of crazy, right? They just throw these managers in there. Oh, that was my, that's where I was going with that, guys. They just throw these managers in there. They, this poor guy had no idea what he was doing, what to do. He even said, like, I don't even know what to do. Um, so, and he was an older man. I felt so bad for him. His line was a mile long, and people were just being rude to him. They start. I was obviously the one standing at the counter because I froze up the machine, but people were behind me were getting rude. They were ditching their buggies. So you just have to always keep in mind that it's not these people's fault. I never ditch my buggy with items in it because he was the only person in the store. I told you guys, I walked around the store looking for an employee and there wasn't anybody else but him. Now he had to put up all of those buggies. And honestly, if I wouldn't have had my son with me, I would have helped him put the buggies up. Um, it was just out of his control. There was nothing he could have done. So you have to take that kind of thing into consideration. Anyway, we're going to write down our Colgate toothpaste. Now Colgate toothpaste uh, is the, I think, 1.45 ounces off the top of my head. Boy, my nose is really stuffy. Um, but it's either $2 or $2.25 uh, depending on your store. So we're going to write $2 just uh, because I would rather be a little bit under than over because we want to make sure our total gets up to 15 or 25, whichever one we're working on. So item is Colgate, 1.45 ounces, I believe. The price is $2. The digital coupon that we have for Colgate that works on that is $2, and that makes it free. That's our only free item. That stinks, honestly. But... It's okay. So in this video, I think we should work on a gain scenario since you guys ask me for gain scenarios all the time. Now here's what just blows my mind. I'm going to be honest with you guys. <coughs> I hope I'm not getting sick, guys. I feel it. I feel it. Um, people will ask me, hey, Krista, can you do a scenario for the 5 off 30 gain? But if we have a 5 off 25... Why are you why are you getting your total to 30 to save five dollars? Unless you're gonna use the five off twenty-five and the five off thirty together, you should just do the five off twenty-five. You're getting more money off uh, better percentage off your total, right? Uh Tammy does cooking videos. Hey, Tammy. Oh, man, I hope I'm not getting sick. I did get Robitussin the other day at Dollar General, which I'm grateful for. All right, so here's the handy-dandy part of the Dollar General ad that we're going to use. Now, the good thing, or I guess the confusing thing about the Dollar General ad is they put all these products together in the same little thing here. So if you 
was not an experienced couponer, you probably wouldn't realize that we have an individual coupon for Gain Liquid, an individual coupon for Gain uh, Fireworks, and an individual coupon for Gain Flings. But that's what I'm going to write down. So I'm going to do a Gain Liquid. What makes it easy is they're all $4.50 with a $2 digital coupon making them $2.50. But what you're going to do when you find these in the ad is you're going to go on your Dollar General digital account and just verify that those coupons are there. Even if you know 100% that they are there, you're going to double check that they are on your Dollar General account. So I'm going to go up here to categories. My husband's uh, screen is broke, so I hope you guys can see well. So I'm going to go to categories and then go to household. Are we advertising our YouTube channels on my comments? No, you didn't. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm missing the chat. Okay, there we go. All right, and here's our household items. So I just went to categories, household, and I would just verify that we have gain liquid, gain fireworks, and um, gain flings. Verify that we all have uh, that we have two dollar coupons for those. Two fifty. I hope this isn't boring. People ask me this though. Fireworks, and I think that you guys should be. Like, I don't want to just give you guys deals. I want you to be able to figure out how to write your own scenarios so you don't need me if you go in the store and they're out of something because it happens. And the best way, honestly, to do this is to grab the ad. As simple as that is, that's all you got to do. All right, so somebody do the math for me. What is, oh, well, I could probably just do this myself. 450 times 3 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 1350, 1450. So we're already at 1550 total, uh, math in my head. So we could use a 3 off 15 and stop here, but we're going to keep going because we got the 5 off 25 coming back. Hey, Martha. No, no, don't be sorry. I was just kidding about the YouTube thing. I'm probably a very big promoter of other YouTube channels. Way probably more than I ever should be. But it was hard for me. So I always just try to help people as much as I can. Anywhere I can. People say that's a bad thing. They're like, why do you help people? Even in couponing. People um, that I know and stuff that I tell them I have a... YouTube channel that helps people. People are like, you should not tell people because that's less for you. All right, 1550 is where we're at right now with our three gain products and our Colgate. But we're going to keep going because we're going to get to 25. So I'm just going to look in the ad. I'm going to try to do this out of the ad. There's a lot of Christmas stuff in here. By the way, oh, I'll tell you about the dog food deal in a minute. But um, the next thing I ran into is the Febreze. These are $3 each. There's a $3 off two uh, coupon, so we're going to add that. Two Febreze. I always spell Febreze wrong. So we're at fifteen fifty. Let's add six dollars for two for breeze. Now we're at twenty one fifty. We're almost there, guys. See how easy this is. All right. The next gain item is this big bottle of gain liquid, but we're not going to use that. I'm going to try to use something else. Oh, I skipped all around in this ad, didn't I? Get 
This um, Tad, what did I say we were at? Twenty-one fifty. Tad Simply Clean. I know a lot of people like the Tad Simply Clean. Okay, let's add actually this Bounty toilet paper or Charmin toilet paper, rather. It's um, four dollars and ninety-five cents. There's only a twenty-five cent coupon. But it's like getting the rest and or buying the rest and getting the toilet paper for free almost. How we do it in the comments? You're welcome, Martha. Do I have the dryer sheets? No. Did I miss the dryer sheets? I should have read it. I didn't read it. No? Where did I miss the dryer sheets? Or am I misunderstanding the chat? Maybe. Tell me if I am. Where's the dryer sheets? What am I missing on the dryer sheets? Alright, so we're at $21.50 plus we added the Charmin, which is $4.95. Which makes us at $26.45. We're going to stop here in this scenario. Then we're going to do a 3 off 15 45 okay and then we got 1125 in coupons and of course as I said earlier I always even if I know for a fact that those are on my account I always go double check always 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 so minus the 5 off 25 and we're at ten dollars and twenty cents, and we just used the Dollar General ad, and we got toilet paper, um, Colgate Gain Liquid Fireworks Gain Flings, two Febreze and Charmin, and we just simply looked at the Dollar General ad. That's all. I, that's, that's it. Now, once you um, start, here's what I recommend that everybody does. Okay. Oh, she says, catch me up. All right, so we just looked at the Dollar General ad and basically went through the ad and looked for high price items with a good value coupon and wrote them in our scenario. Um, we just made a scenario where we got the Colgate toothpaste that's $2, Gain Liquid, uh, $4.50, Fireworks, the Gain Fireworks that are $4.50, Gain Flings that are $4.50, two Febreze, at three dollars each and the Charmin toilet paper at four dollars and ninety five cents makes our total twenty six dollars and forty five cents we have eleven dollars worth of digital coupons did I do my math wrong let me double check yeah should be right so we got twenty six forty five minus eleven twenty five equals fifteen twenty yep yeah. minus the five off twenty five we're at ten dollars and twenty cents just by looking at the Dollar General ad. That's all. And then going back, I went back and made sure those coupons were there actually on my account. So it's pretty easy, guys, to write your own scenario. That's the point I'm trying to make. Um, so you guys see these game breakdowns. Um, and I think it's great. You guys should follow blogs. Like, there's no reason to take time out of your day and do this yourself. If you find somebody who does this for you that you trust, um, that makes it easier for you. Uh, but ultimately my whole point of this is, I mean, the people that you watch on YouTube or the couponing blogs that you follow could fall off the face of the earth tomorrow and you're going to need to figure this out on your own or at least some people. Um, I'll tell you what really inspired me. I know um, someone who started their own couponing channel and she asked me, she has her own couponing channel on YouTube and she has some views and she asked me, how do you, um, how do you get the deals early? And I said, well, you just grab the ad and do your own matchups and she really has no clue still how to do it. So um, you just really need to look at the Dollar General ad and find the highest value items with the highest value coupon and put you down in there.
I hope that's helpful. You're always writing scenarios. Is this how you do it with the Dollar General ad? I don't use, but something that um, is also very helpful, guys, is you guys know the items that we mostly get coupons for are like personal care products, um, body washes, shampoos, laundry products for sure. Is uh, The best thing, I think, is to just go in Dollar General and take pictures of those items on your phone and... Um, Put them in a folder in your phone if you know how to do that. Uh, and that way you can have something to refer prices to if you don't know how much something is. Because sometimes, you know, we'll get digital coupons for items and I have no idea how much that item is. But it, once I learned to do that, go in Dollar General and just take pictures of the items that we commonly get coupons for. Dog food is one of them. Gain. Um, and then the personal care section and then you have something to refer to something else you can also do to get the prices that I've learned is Google um, like if you wanted uh, the price for Purina one dog food you can Google Purina one dog food three pound bag dollar general and it'll bring it up of course you could just go to dollargeneral.com and search it on the website but sometimes dollar general's website I've found is not that simple prices do vary a little bit online as they do in store um, but for the most part they're kind of the same but you guys there is a if you need dog food there is a printable coupon for this Purina One Smart Blend. It's on sale this week for three dollars and fifty, or I'm sorry, five dollars and fifty cents. And then there are some printable coupons that are three dollars off. I'm gonna use this in a scenario. If you use this in a three off fifteen, if you get three bags for five dollars and fifty cents each, and you print three of those printable coupons. Uh, and use a 3 off 15 survey coupon, you would pay $4.50 for three or about $1.50 each, which is a pretty good deal for that Purina one. It is a, uh, has better ingredients in it than the, especially like the Beneful Dog Food and those other brands. So let's see where we're at. How to make multiple Dollar General accounts. So you guys always ask me that question too. And the reason I have so many is because I started shopping at Dollar General whenever you didn't have to verify your phone number. So you could um, just make as many accounts as you want and nobody cared. Uh, but now you do have to verify your phone number. The last I checked, the um, Google Voice app would give you an additional phone number. And that was the only app that would work to get more phone numbers and create an account. But the only other thing that you can do is ask your friends and family to use their phone numbers. What I usually do is I'll um, have them send a code to like my mom if I need, like on coupons.com, and she will just tell me the code. Yeah, t Tony says you can use landlines. That's a good idea too. I just don't think a lot of people have landline phones nowadays i mean i don't have one but if you do have one absolutely use that use your grandmother's phone number your mom's everybody you can think of how does the gain and downing coupons work that was in this week's red plum we're gonna uh write a scenario somebody actually sent me a picture of those coupons i think i i have one insert of them but I just have to look at, I wish if I had them here with me, we'd, we would do that now. But something I found out uh, kind of the hard way is the other day I went to a different Dollar General and their prices were generally just a little bit higher than my normal store. And their downy and stuff was more, quite a bit more actually. They are free an extra number. Jessica James, what did you say was free? Oh, an Obama phone. Yeah, if you get any kind of government benefits, you should definitely get an Obama phone for sure. There's a lady. The only thing is I know that they're changing some rules on the Obama phone. Um, there's a lady that we have in our group who distributes those types of phones, and she said that they 
are changing something. Um, so like next year, you won't be able to get it or something like that. But um, you should get that now because if anything, if you can just have another device to print from or just another device in general is handy as far as couponing goes. But I think the Obama phones, you can't uh, download the Ibotta app is the only downside. I think there are some you can, but I know for a fact some of them you cannot download Ibotta. Also, guys, somebody messaged me and told me that the Ibotta rebate worked on um, the ranch dressing. Not craft, but Hidden Valley Ranch Dressing. So she's waiting on her um, official money back from like the email. But uh, yeah, so scan that on everything. Also, this hefty paper plates, you guys. If you need paper plates, these are $1.50 this week. We got a dollar off two coupon in our inserts. There's also a printable coupon for those. I always buy paper plates. Um, and this is a really good thing to put in your scenarios too. And the buy one, get one free. Hey, Mom, if you're still on the live stream, I know you were there a minute ago. The Jell-O no-bake cheesecake are on sale for buy one, get one free this week. You probably didn't watch that video. But it also, when I made the breakdown video, you guys, I didn't know if the regular one was included or if it was just the strawberry and Oreo. I don't even know if you guys can see that. But um, it is actually the regular no-bake cheesecake that doesn't have strawberries on it. And it's only $2. Oh, that's what else we needed to say. So when you're, have a, when you're writing scenarios, especially you guys, if you have a buy one, get one free, the free item does not count towards your total of any threshold coupon. So if you have a five off 25, the five off 30 gain coupon, if you're using a three off 15 survey coupon and you're doing like this cheesecake deal, for example, the free item is considered a dollar general store discount and it does not count towards your threshold total. And neither does the instant savings. And that's where you can get really messed up if you are trying to write your own scenarios, you should definitely steer away from the instant savings until you get uh, pretty good at it, in my opinion, because the instant savings can really mess you up. That's why I got so messed up the other day when I was doing that 5 off 30 gain, because we had the instant savings for the 2 downy and the 31 count gain, and then the trash bags and the other items, and that instant savings crazy all right guys any questions can you clarify one coupon per purchase means I had a horrible experience with the beneficial scenario thanks in advance yes um Sorry, guys. My throat's so dry. So, let's say you are buying. I don't have anything here good as an example. Let's say that you are buying Beneful dog food, uh, for example. And this is your Beneful dog food. You want two bags. You're getting it. Buy one, get one free. Here's a bag. Here's a bag. And your coupon says one coupon per purchase. Okay, that's the first thing it says. And then it will either say two like coupons per transaction per day, or it won't say anything after the one coupon per purchase. So one coupon per purchase means literally just that. So if you're purchasing two in the same transaction, you can use one coupon for this purchase and one coupon for this purchase. Even though you're doing them in the same transaction, they just... Um, word those funny so you can use as long as it doesn't say limit one per transaction per day you can use however many it says but the first line of the of any coupon says one coupon per purchase almost all of them say that and that just means one coupon 
per item. So no double dipping is basically what they're saying. You can't use a Dollar General digital benefit coupon and a newspaper benefit coupon. So it's one per purchase, two like coupons per transaction per day. So the only way they can limit you at Dollar General is um, by that second line. So if it does say two like coupons per transaction per day, then if your cashier says you can only use two, then you can only use two, period. Um, there's no reason for you to dispute that because the cashier is just simply following the coupons uh, rules. QSEER is, you guys are talking about that in the comments, and um, that is a really good app, I think, too, if you're new uh, to couponing. One of my friends told me about it. I, I've never personally used it, but she, I know, had this biggest trouble with the uh, Elmer's Glue coupons that come out a while ago, and they were like a dollar off three Elmer's Glue. Or, no, actually, the coupon said a dollar off four Elmer's Glue, and QSEER, or however you say it, you basically just scan the coupon and it tells you exactly what the coupon's for. So if you have any confusion whatsoever, um, that app tells you what exactly that coupon's for. So anyway, with the Elmer's Glue, it ended up telling her that app that she needed to buy three Elmer's Glue instead of four and it worked and she was able to not have to buy four. So I don't think there are a whole lot of cases like that though, and I know that is a paid app. Um, I don't think it's much. I think it's like two dollars or something. But if you're fairly new, it might um, help you out. So I've tried to argue at Dollar Tree and absolutely would not give it a chance, but other stores are more lenient. I don't know what the deal is with Dollar Tree, um, but I think they are just in general a more uh, strict store. Teresa says, yeah, if you have a question for me guys and you put like three or four question marks in front of it, that is helpful. So I will uh, definitely see that. So is the 31 count Tide Downy Softener and Downy 9.7 still have the instant savings? Yes. However, the, um, I think we no longer have the $3 off for the Tide Pods. So we had a coupon, a digital coupon, $3 off when you buy a uh, Tide Pod 16 count or larger. Now it's just $2 off. So when you buy those three items, instead of paying around $5.40, you will pay around $6.40 plus tax, which in my opinion is still a pretty decent deal. People really love that deal. Um, but we do eventually get tied for free. You just have to try to get up enough Dollar General accounts so that when we do get it for free, you can really stock up. No, but cashiers won't use that info. Yeah, in that QSEER app, the cashiers do not have to go by that app. It's just literally what the coupon will work on. And, and sometimes it is, I mean, what I would consider misuse. I mean, if a coupon clearly says that you need to buy four Elmer's glue and you're only buying three, you're already not following directions of the coupon. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that, of course. Um, it's not my place to judge you, but um, I'm just saying in general, your cashier does not have to follow what that app says. Dollar General has been my best store to coupon app by far, in my opinion. I agree. The drugstores are really good, too, um, as far as uh, especially CVS and Rite Aid. For me, I like to coupon at Walmart just because I find that um, in my daily life, I find myself at Walmart more often than I do the other stores. The only bad thing is... Um, since my Walmart stopped price matching it, it makes it really hard to get good deals. Uh, but with that coupons.com app, that has come in handy for me quite often here recently. And where's glue is a dollar too? Yeah. Where's the best place to use the buy one get one free Johnson and Johnson coupon? 
Um, I don't have that coupon. I did see that people were getting the Johnson and Johnson uh, for free at was it Toys R Us guys or Babies R Us? One of those had it on sale and they were using that coupon and getting it completely free. But I don't have that coupon. Um, I see a lot of people using that buy one get one free Johnson's coupon though at Dollar General. Uh, because it's four dollars and they were putting it in a scenario with um, other cheap items now if the coupon is buy one get one free then you can count um, both of those if they're four dollars each towards your threshold total but dg works there lisa says dollar general yeah when do dollar uh, digitals reset Ooh, teresa you're full of questions and i like that that's good um Dollar General coupons is something that you should check every single day. Uh, I've just made it a habit in my life. When I get home every morning, because I have to leave in the mornings, I come back home and clip my Dollar General coupons immediately. Typically, they do. We get the most coupons uh, the same time we get the PNG insert, which is the last Sunday of every month. Uh, but you should always, especially, check for new coupons at the first of the month and every Sunday morning. Sometimes Dollar General will uh, put a really good coupon out and they'll literally only leave it out on their website for a few hours and take it away. Typically, if they do that, it is in the morning on Sunday, I've noticed. Um, and with Everything else with Dollar General, they have trends with everything. You guys have seen it. been pretty good at guessing, like when we have those extra 3 off 15 or uh, 2 off 10 digital coupons. And that's because Dollar General just, they have trends with everything. They do everything at the same time every year. They quit accepting the Johnson & Johnson coupons because people were returning them and getting the money. Oh, no. Uh, somebody said it was Babies RS where they were using that coupon, not Toys RS. Hi, Krista and everyone. Figure out the chat space. I seen uh, somebody was live today, and I was I usually watch videos on my computer, and I was on my phone, and I couldn't figure out if they were still live or not on the phone. How do you know if someone's live if you're watching it on the phone? Does it say live at the top? As my screen does, I don't know. I'm talking about Toys R Us and Babies R Us. Oh, sorry. Can you repeat the coupon date? The first and when else? Sunday. Those are the most important days. Every Sunday and the very first of the month. Anytime we get newspaper coupons, you should check your Dollar General digital account. I mean, ideally, if you could check your Dollar General digital coupon account every day, um, that would be the ideal way to go, I think. But And also, as far as what coupons you should you clip and what coupons should you not clip, um, unless you have a paper coupon that you know for a fact uh, that you have it and it's higher value, for example, and this happens kind of a lot, especially with the Bounty and Charmin. Sometimes we'll get digital coupons at Dollar General that are 25 cents off, and then we'll get our PNG insert, and they'll be a dollar off for the Bounty and the Charmin. So obviously, if your paper coupon is higher value than the digital coupon, then do not clip the digital coupon. Because the problem becomes, if you want to use your paper coupon instead of the digital, sometimes it will kick your paper coupon out of the system and accept the, the lower value coupon in that instance where you have digital and paper. Not always, usually it'll take the higher value coupon, but sometimes that does happen. So if you know for a fact you have a higher value paper coupon, then do not clip the digital coupon. But for the most part, even if I have paper coupons, I just go ahead and clip them all, and I save my coupons to either use in a transaction with only paper coupons, or I save my coupons to like shop at CVS, or a different store. Uh, 
Go to your subscriptions and it will say that person is live. Oh, I didn't know if there was a way on the phone, though. Like, because I was saying something that I wanted them to read. Somebody, you guys, let me tell you a funny story. What is the cost on the Jell-O No Bake? If you get the Jell-O No Bake that doesn't have any topping whatsoever, it is $2. And if you get the or the Jell-O No Bake cheesecake that is with no topping, it is $2. And then buy one, get one free. And the uh, Jell-O No Bake cheesecake with the strawberry topping is either... At some stores, it's $2.75. And then at other stores, it seems to be $2.95. Uh, those are the only two that my store have. So I can't, I don't want to tell you the price on the Oreo. I was hoping to find the Oreo No Bake, um, but I couldn't find it today. I was so upset. When I went and they told me corporate said they quit accepting those cues. Who who stopped accepting what coupons? I'm missing you guys in the chat. Could you do a breakdown for scrubbing bubbles? And I have been wanting Mr. Clean Gain or Febreze scent for like the past month. And then never got any advice. Scrubbing bubbles. Mr. Clean. Or for recent. Okay, well, here's what happens, um, Jessica. I'm going to be honest with you. So last month, we had a really good deal on the Mr. Clean products. Um, they're, you can get them as low as like the Mr. Clean Multipurpose Cleaner for $2. And um, we had dollar digital coupons all month long. So it made it just a dollar. And then when you put it in a scenario, you of course could get it much cheaper than that. So um, if, you know, this month, I don't think our, I don't even think we have a Mr. Clean coupon, do we? I mean, if we do, I think it's like 25 cents. Am I wrong on that? I guess I can look. Um, but what else was it? Let me screenshot that so I can remember. Some I try in the scrubbing bubbles. I try, you guys, but something, uh, it makes it hard when you guys, like, have 40 requests. It's kind of hard for me sometimes to do a breakdown for everything. Honestly, you're going to be better off as far as cleaning supplies go this week if you have the um, probably Lysol hang tag coupons. But I will try to work that in. I screenshot uh, your comment there. So I will try to remember to do that for you. And if I forget, please feel free to remind me. Like People are always asking me for cat products. But sometimes, guys, I can't make up a deal. Like If there's not a good deal, I'm not going to just make it up. I try not to ever tell you guys to do a deal that I would not personally go do myself and spend my own money on. Years ago, when not many people coupon, I use two examples of wording to clarify to cashiers, a.k.a. reading is fundamental. Two ninety five, dollars 95 Lisa Schaefer. I think she's talking about that cheese, jello cheesecake with the strawberry topping. But um, that's what I was saying earlier, you guys. The, the one without strawberry topping works, too. And it's only $2. And it should be $2 at every store. But Dollar General all across the United States, their prices sometimes vary just a little bit. Usually it's not much. Um, usually that's why I just go by my store prices because if you guys go to the store and the price is different, usually it's not more ever than 25 cents. Johnson & Johnson, buy one, get one at CVS. Buy one, get one, 50% off. Buy four at eight forty nine. Oh, three at five ninety nine. Spend twenty get five. Oh, I see. Yeah, Lisa says her store doesn't carry the Oreo either. Scrubbing bubbles is at Walgreens. I'll be honest, you guys. I haven't looked at the other. Uh, usually every week I look at the drugstore ads, but I haven't this week, like I usually do. Bye, Teresa. Thanks for jumping in and asking questions. I really do appreciate it. 
Alright guys, I guess I'm going to end this live stream soon if you guys don't have any questions. I want to visit a Dollar General Market. Are they different? The first time I ever went to a Dollar General Market, I was like, oh, I mean, it was amazing. Uh, yeah, they're, they're a little bit different. They have um, a lot of different food items that our stores don't have, and they're huge. They're huge. I would love... Uh, to penny shop at a Dollar General Market all the time. That would be amazing. Oh my gosh, listen to this. I am in Oklahoma. And she put in parentheses, Couponer City. It's hard to get deals because the shelves are always cleared. Huh, that's interesting. I fave Rite Aid. Yeah, Rite Aid is a good store. Is there an app or something that I can download so I can check prices at Dollar General? Thank you, Martha. Thanks for jumping on. Um, I'll talk to you later. She says take some time. I'll sign us. Um, is there an app that I can check prices at Dollar General? No, there's not. And you can look on the Dollar General website or the Dollar General app and like just shop online. But first of all, there's not a lot of uh, not all of the products are on the online site. And secondly, they're not always correct. Um, what I was saying earlier that I do, if I really need a price for something that I cannot find, is I'll like Google search it. I, f I have more luck Google searching items uh, for Dollar General than I do going on the website and searching them. Just because when you search something on the Dollar General website, a lot of times a bunch of other stuff comes up that's not even relevant to what you're searching. But if I Google search, uh, for example, Purina One Dog Food, uh, three pound bag Dollar General, a similar price will come up. But that's about the best you could do. Earlier, I said that you should go in Dollar General and take pictures and save them in a gallery on your phone, and then you can just refer back to that gallery. Oh, wow. What is the app that you use for Penny Deals? It's called Penny Finder. I swear, you guys, I'm going to get that video up tomorrow if it kills me. Penny Finder, it's a, uh, it's got a blue background with a orange P. Good night. Yeah, if the Penny Finder app would, uh, also tell us prices of the items in Dollar General, man, that would be, like, amazing. But it doesn't. It will literally only tell you if it's a penny or not. And that's something I want to mention in that video that I do tomorrow because I think sometimes I say that and um, I say you scan the item, it tells you if it's a penny. People are under the impression that it will tell you the correct price, but um, it doesn't. It literally will just say either it is a penny or it's not a penny. Um, or actually, it doesn't say that it is even. It actually, what it does say is that uh, if you scan something that is a penny, it will say 14 members verified this as a penny last verified on this day because the Dollar General penny items do reset and you guys know if you penny shop that sometimes that's a problem too uh, because, uh, out of, I mean, you don't get any notice that the item has reset. So the Penny Finder app does tell you how many people verified the item. Sometimes it's only one person. Sometimes it's a lot, 26 people. Um, but you just have to trust that it's right. The good thing about the what I like, okay, here's what sets the Penny Finder app apart from me from the other apps. For example, there is a very similar app to the Penny Finder app or like their copycat app. And they live in China. There's not Dollar General stores in China. Um, the people who own the Penny Finder app actually penny shop. And I know they penny shop because I talk to them all the time. And um, they've sent me penny hauls and this and that that they've done. But anyway, um, they actually go through and look at everything that everyone verified and uh, just double check that it's actually a penny. Because some of the Penny Finder apps like that, people will just, um, 
I don't know what the word is. They will want to be mischievous. So they'll go in and like say things that are a penny that are not really a penny. And then it kind of throws everything off. But they double check what's verified every day. So, um, you know, more likely to be correct. All right, guys, let's go to bed. I gotta go to bed. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Corey. Or Corey's girlfriend who's really on her boyfriend's uh, thing. Yeah, guys, let's go to bed. It's a good thing I got that robotism. I wonder if it'll help with my nose because this is terrible. It's hard to talk. All right, guys. Um... So tomorrow I do plan on doing the penny. Oh, God, by, by the way, guys, before you go, um, the bundle sold very quickly today, and I sold uh, another one after that. Before you go, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. And, uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Jessica. Tomorrow we're going to do the penny shopping video and maybe a haul if I can uh, go do that, hopefully. And you guys, what's the Penny app name? Penny Finder. When you search it, either on Android or uh, iPhone, underneath the name of the app, it will say Big Blue Cat. It's $1.99. It has a blue background and an orange P. Make sure you get the right one. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Tawana Lynn from Alabama. All right, guys, I'm going to end the live stream. No more questions. You guys have a good night too. And we'll see you tomorrow. I probably won't do the penny shopping videos live, but, um, leave me a comment when you watch the videos anyway. Bye guys.